The impeachment trial of President Trump is over. Where are we? I think we're in the midst of the storm. It's been a travesty. Just an absolute it's because travesty. travesty. It's be this is a rigged trial with, with a pre-cooked outcome. The perfect call nonsense or the ridiculous, maddening arguments undertaken by the president and his lawyers and his allies. We've had a sham trial. Yes, what a sham. The sham trial. Sham trial. Not a real trial. And this wasn't a trial, this was a travesty. It's not a real trial and it's not a real exoneration. And it's a cover-up. The trial that wasn't really a trial will be over and we will no longer have to listen to it. The Senate can stop pretending. No documents and no witnesses. Not having witnesses is a hoax. Is it a GOP or is it a grand uh, party to cover up? This is a cover-up. The president has learned his lesson. Yeah. <laughs> no, he has not. No, he has not. He is going to do this again. If you basically can harness enough support, you can essentially bulldoze the Constitution. Steal the Constitution from the people. The Constitution no longer matters. President Trump is functionally a monarch at this point. The Constitution's been re rewritten in the following way. A Democratic president is not allowed to name a Supreme Court justice in an election year. And a Republican president cannot be impeached in an election year. That's <laughs> the it. The media is having a collective meltdown over President Trump's acquittal. This, this is Trump derangement syndrome on steroids. They're literally hysterical. But we're going to take a look at what they're really panicked about. It's not Trump. It's something even worse. We're going to find out why the world has changed in ways that will never, ever be the same for the Marxist media. You're going to absolutely love this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here. Wonderful to be with you, as always. This is your daily white pill of encouragement as we celebrate the inevitable collapse and fall of left-wing globalism and the unstoppable rise of a new conservative age. So if you haven't already done so, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss a single video analyzing current events in light of super awesome conservative trends so you can live in the present in light of even better things to come and we've got a brand new free resource for all of you it's my giveaway time i'm often asked what news sites i frequent to get my information i decided to just sit down and put them all together for you there are about 20 sites that i go to and we put them all together as a free download that we're calling our fake news antidote and you can download it completely free at the link below in the pinned comment section. I think you're going to absolutely love it. And finally, let's give a huge shout out to our video sponsor. And that's our good friends over at Noble Gold. The specialists over at Noble Gold want to protect your assets with a safety net made up of the trustworthiness and reliability of precious metals like gold and silver. Gold and silver are low-risk assets. And the best part is you can cash out whenever the danger is passed. So talk to one of the specialists over at Noble Gold today and see how they can help protect you and your family for what's coming. Just click on the link below to get your free gold guide or just give them a call at 877-646-5347. Tell them that Dr. Steve sent you or you can check them out at noblegoldinvestments.com. You'll be glad you did. All right, let's dive right in here. I think the opening montage speaks for itself and I think it's a perfect example of why so many people have stopped giving the Marxist media the time of the day. One of the most important contributions that Trump has made to our nation in, in all this is his exposure for all to see the unmitigated left-wing globalism that is our mainstream media. The whole world is watching unravel before their very eyes the myth of journalistic objectivity, which has been so central to the notion of a so-called free press over the past century. That cloak, that charade, that sham of journalistic objectivity has collapsed and the whole world is watching. Left-wingers are re-embracing such an exposure as the triumph of their left-wing ideology. So they're totally supporting it. They love the fact the media has come out, as it were, right? They come out of their disinterested closets of objectivity and they have revealed themselves to be what they truly are, which is left-wing political activists disguised as journalists. The days of presenting oneself as a highly respected professional journalist who's a reliable mediator of information. Those days are over, okay? They're done. Trump has crushed 
that perception for all to see. And nothing demonstrates this propensity towards all things left-wing and liberal than the Marxist media's reaction to Trump's acquittal. They claimed that the trial was a sham, that, that the vote was rigged, that the outcome means nothing because, well, they didn't call witnesses. They've shredded the Constitution and on and on. Oh, this temper tantrum. These are the most pathetic group of gnat strainers and camel swallowers I have ever witnessed in my life. These are the people who will allow the Speaker of the House to freaking publicly rip up the President's State of the Union speech in front of the entire nation without a shred of condemnation, no pun intended. They go batty over the president's, uh, you know, absolutely legitimate excoriation of the Democrats and their attempt to destroy him and his family. They let Pelosi go and they excoriate Trump. But here's what the Marxist media is really all freaked out about. You ready for this? And I think you already know this. Here's what's really going on. They're hysterical over their own loss of power and influence. That's what these freaks in the media are ultimately freaking out over. They're melting down over the fact that they've lost. They've lost. And what did they lose? They lost their power of political persuasion over the nation. There was a time when the mainstream media could, in effect, bully politicians into doing their bidding. Uh, it's not a coincidence that political fads tend to follow what the media, both in terms of news and entertainment, peddles as important. This has been long recognized. It's technically known as agenda setting theory. I don't know if you've heard of that before. It's a field of study, agenda setting theory. Um, it's a field of study that explores the influence of the media on setting the political agenda and prioritizing political causes and policies. It's long been recognized that what the mainstream media focuses on or what current events get attention on our television sitcoms or even our Hollywood movies is a major driver of what counts as a viable political agenda, which, of course, is always radical left, right? This is why we're not exaggerating the least when we call reporters left-wing activists disguised as journalists. They are political agenda setters, and they know it. Well, at least they were. You see, what the Trump years are revealing to the mainstream Marxist media is that their days of determining the content for political priorities are over. More and more, the population simply, they're not listening to them anymore. For example, every single media outlet has lost, no, <laughs> they've hemorrhaged viewers. Their ratings are quite literally the lowest they've ever been. Newspaper circulation today is the same as it was in the 1940s. The New York Times isn't even the top five news sources anymore. More than 20% of newspapers have shut down. That's one in every five, gang. CNN can't even muster a million viewers for their primetime lineup. All the major network news outlets have seen their audiences cut in half over the last decade. And here's the key, and we saw this boldly on display with the Trump acquittal. As a consequence of this loss in audience share and the rise of the alternative media, Republicans are no longer afraid of the mainstream media. I mean, up to now, the mainstream media was always able to keep Republicans in line by threatening them with unflattering and politically damaging coverage. And what that did is it at least it was it kept the semblance of the notion that Republicans were the permanent opposition party. They served merely to slow down the inevitable process of making the world more and more into the image of left wing cosmopolitan progressives. But conservatives knew they could never actually stop it, let alone reverse it. That's what the media convinced them of for decades. Until 2016. Then a new breed of Republicans began to realize they didn't have to fear the media anymore. They could be like Arizona Senator Martha McSally, who when she was confronted with a gotcha question by a CNN leftist reporter's Manu Raju, she just completely dismissed him as a liberal hack. And he was insulted by it. That was the beauty of it. He was absolutely livid and insulted. They don't know what to do when they Republicans fight back. Republicans aren't afraid anymore. And that, my friends, is what the media is ultimately hysterical about.
they've lost their power. They've lost their power of agenda setting, which means they've lost the entire reason why the vast majority of so-called journalists joined the mainstream media in the first place. They knew where the real power resided. It was behind the microphone. It was behind the television camera. That's where the real power was found in the 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s. And really all the way up to 2016, well, actually 2015, when a New York billionaire came down the escalator at Trump Tower and gave a speech announcing his candidacy for president, a candidacy that would be unapologetically nationalist, populist, and traditionalist. The media has done everything they can since then to stop him. And like Wiley Coyote chasing after the roadrunner, they failed. They failed over and over and over again. A new day is dawning, a new world in which conservative ideas and institutions are ascending and left-wing liberals are imploding. Now, before you go, you definitely want to check out my video featuring a CNN reporter completely embarrassing herself on live television when no one in D.C. would talk to her. It's absolutely hilarious, and it's a perfect symbol of their collapsing ratings. You're going to absolutely love it. So make sure to click on the link, and I'll see you over there. God bless.